Hardware Nerds. Today on Wordplay, I am going to tell you a list of items that I have compiled from other lists that I found on the internet, and they are words that don't mean exactly what we think that they mean. However, are using them incorrectly so often over time, they've kind of morphed and evolved into the meanings which we use them incorrectly as. Oh, that's that's a mouthful. The first word we have on our list is very often abused, and that is the word literally. It does not mean an emphasis on an action or a feeling whether or not something occurred. What it does mean is that something actually occurred. So you didn't literally drink a million Red Bulls because you would be dead. Next on the list is the word tragedy. Now this does not mean a tragic event or catastrophe. This actually means a mockery or a parody. So the Scream movie franchise is a travesty. Not that the movies are terrible or anything, but because it mocks everything that we have come to know about the horror genre. Although the last few movies in that franchise were pretty terrible. Next is the word ironic. It does not mean a funny coincidence. It means exact opposite of what you expect to happen. It's not ironic if it rains on your wedding day, but it is ironic if it snows on your wedding day in the middle of July. Next, we have the word irregardless. This does not actually exist. So if you need to use the word irregardless, just drop the first I and R and say regardless, because that is the actual word. This next one isn't a word, but it's a phrase, but it's, it's oftenly misused, and that is, I could care less. What it doesn't mean is that you care the least amount possible. What it does mean is you kind of care a little bit. The correct phrase to use, like 99% of the time the incorrect phrase is used, is I couldn't care less. This lets people know that you literally can't care less because you care none percent. Next up, we have the word compelled. Now, this doesn't mean a willingly doing something or a feeling that you have to do something. This actually means being forced to do something whether you want to or not. You do not feel compelled to eat that chocolate cake. Unless you're Bruce from Matilda. You can do it, Bruce! Next up is another big repeat offender, and that is the word nauseous. It does not mean you feel sick. It does mean to cause nausea. So the phrase, I'm nauseous, is actually incorrect. If you're sick, you're nauseated, and that is the effect of a nauseous cause. Next on our list, we have the word redundant. Now this doesn't mean repetitive. It actually means something in excess, something that is able to be cut. The last scene I wrote in my manuscript was redundant because I had to cut the entire thing because it sucked. Now this next one actually kind of shocked me a little bit when I read it, and that is the word terrific. It does not mean awesome or fantastic. It actually means to cause terror. So all of those times that I sarcastically used the word terrific, I was, I was kind of right. Flat tire on the side of the highway. Terrific. And last but not least is the word ultimate. What this doesn't mean is the greatest thing of all time. What it does mean is the last item on a list. You see what I did there? Yeah? Thank you for watching and put a comment below of any misused words that I may have missed and I will see you nerds on Sunday.